Welcome to the Al Jazeera channel where you will learn inventory management as a core operations management activity. We studied before two inventory ordering issues in a series of videos, these issues are how much to order and when to order. The approach used to deal with these two issues is the fixed quantity approach and different models to answer these questions were explained. In some cases, making orders at a fixed time is better than fixed quantity approach. One reason for this is grouping orders for items from the same supplier can produce savings in shipping costs. Moreover, many retail operations, example drug stores, small grocery stores, fall into this category. The alternative for them is to use fixed interval ordering, which requires only periodic checks of inventory levels. In this case the fixed order interval model is suitable. This figure provides a comparison of the fixed quantity and fixed interval systems. In the fixed quantity arrangement, orders are triggered by a quantity, ROP, while in the fixed interval arrangement orders are triggered by a time. Therefore, the fixed interval system must have stock out protection for lead time plus the next order cycle, but the fixed quantity system needs protection only during lead time because additional orders can be placed at any time and will be received shortly thereafter. Consequently, there is a greater need for safety stock in the fixed interval model than in the fixed quantity model. Order size in the fixed interval model is determined by the following computation, amount to order equals expected demand during protection interval plus safety stock plus amount on hand at reorder time. This can be mathematically represented by this equation. Q equals D bar multiplied by OI plus LT. Plus Z multiplied by sigma D multiplied by square root of OI plus LT. Minus A. Where D bar is the average daily or weekly demand. OI is the order interval, or length of time between orders, LT is the lead time in days or weeks, Z is the number of standard deviations, Sigma D is the standard deviation of demand per day or week, and A is the amount on hand at reorder time. Example for this model. Given the following information, determine the amount to order. The first step is to find the Z value corresponding to service level of 0.99. By finding the closest value to 0.99 in this table. Here it is. Look at the row and column heading, the Z value is 2.3 plus 0.03 equals 2.33. Now substitute in this equation with the given information. This results in Q equals 220 units. So, the amount to order every 7 days is 220 units. Another example. A lab orders a number of chemicals from the same supplier every 30 days. Lead time is 5 days. The assistant manager of the lab must determine how much of one of these chemicals to order. A check of stock revealed that 1125 milliliter jars are on hand. Daily usage of the chemical is approximately normal with a mean of 15.2 milliliter per day and a standard deviation of 1.6 milliliter per day. The desired service level for this chemical is 95%. How many jars of the chemical should be ordered? What is the average amount of safety stock of the chemical? The givens are, OI equals 30 days, LT equals 5 days. A equals 11 multiplied 25 equal 275 milliliter, D bar equals 15.2 milliliter, Sigma D equals 1.6 milliliter, and the service level is 0.95. Start with finding the Z value corresponding to service level of 0.95 from this table. Here is the closest value to 0.95. So, the Z value is 1.6 plus 0.05 equal 1.65. To solve the first question and find the number of many jars of the chemical should be ordered, substitute in this equation by the given values. This results in Q equals 272.62 milliliter. The required is the number of jars and we know that each jar contains 25 milliliters. So, this value should be divided by 25. Consequently, the number of jars to be ordered equals 272.62 divided 25 equal 10.9 approximately equal to 11 jars. For the second question, which is, what is the average amount of safety stock of the chemical? Referring to the amount to order equation. It is clear that this element represents the safety stock. So, the safety stock equals Z multiplied by sigma D multiplied by square root of OI plus LT. Substitute by the given data result in 15.62 milliliter. So, 
the average amount of safety stock of the chemical is 15.62 milliliter. Here the fixed order interval model is explained using examples. If you like this video so press like and share it. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.